This is a demonstration of a lockstep quad modular redundant system that utilizes the MicroCore Labs MCL51 microsequencer based 8051 core. This system consists of four modules that play a music program while running in lockstep with each other. While the modules are running, we will inject a variety of errors which will cause them to fail, rebuild themselves, and rejoin the lockstep with the other healthy modules. Let's get started. Currently, all four modules are healthy and running in lockstep. A timer is programmed to play the musical notes that are programmed by the healthy modules. Peripherals like the timer will not accept data from a module that is not healthy. Each button corresponds to one of the four modules, so we can inject errors into them independently. The switches select which type of error that will be injected into the modules. An LED will light to indicate that a module has dropped out of the lockstep and is attempting to rebuild itself. When the button is released, the module will be able to complete the rebuilding process. The LED will then turn off to indicate that it has rejoined the lockstep and is now a healthy module. The time it takes for a module to rebuild itself after detecting an error is around 700 microseconds. For the first test we will inject errors into the address lines of the MCL51's microcode ROM. This will cause the processor to stop executing 8051 instructions and therefore drop out of lockstep. As errors are injected into multiple modules, the music continues to play without skipping a note. Up to two modules at a time can be disabled and can rebuild themselves using data from the two remaining healthy modules. The next test will inject errors into the module's broadcast bus. This bus is used to broadcast register updates as well as RAM, ROM, and register contents. Errors injected onto this bus cause the module's voter to detect a discrepancy and therefore put it into rebuilding mode. Peripherals will also be notified that the module has left the lockstep and that its information should no longer be used. Again we can see that the lockstep quad modular redundant system can tolerate multiple simultaneous module failures while continuing to successfully run the music program using the two remaining modules. When the buttons injecting the errors are released, the failed modules can complete rebuilding themselves and can rejoin the lockstep as healthy modules. The third test injects errors into the output of the microsequencer's microcode ROM. This will cause the microsequencer to receive erroneous information and begin to execute invalid instructions which effectively disables the module. The fourth test forces the outputs of the user data RAM, program ROM, and 8051SFR registers to zero. This will prohibit the MCL51 from receiving correct information from any of its RAMs or registers. For the next test we will insert errors into the rebuilding broadcast address. This will stop a healthy module from successfully broadcasting its local RAM, ROM, and register information over the broadcast bus. The module's voter will immediately detect this discrepancy, take it out of lockstep, and attempt to rebuild itself. As you can see, when we stop asserting the errors, the module can rebuild itself and rejoin the lockstep. The sixth and final test will assert the right signal to the microcode ROM which will completely zero out all of the MCL51 microcode instructions that are held in this memory. This condition is much worse than a single event upset that only flips a few bits in the memory. This test will override every location of the microcode ROM and require it to be completely rebuilt using the neighboring module broadcast information. As you can see, the lockstep quad modular redundant system can silently detect this error, rebuild itself, and then rejoin the lockstep. The final demonstration will show errors injected into three modules at the same time. This will cause the QMR system to fail, because it leaves only one remaining module running which has no secondary source of information, to confirm the data it generates is correct. The music continues to play the last note that was successfully written by two modules which were in agreement with each other. The lockstep quad modular redundant system utilizes less than 2500 lux of a Xilinx Arctic 7, which is around 12% of the device used in this demonstration. Thank you for viewing this demonstration of the MicroCore Labs lockstep quad modular redundant system. If you have any questions, please email us at info at microcorelabs.com.